like that last week and to bounce back on a short week. Um, you know, it says a lot about the guys, but obviously we got to continue to do this, got to stay consistent. Um, and looking forward to that ne the, the, the next matchup we have. Was it very similar to Coach Jackson, though? I mean, almost the same vibe this week from that one, too? I mean, I think we just came in ready. It's, a, it's the same every week. We watch the tape, whether we win or lose, forget about it 24 hours, and we move on. It's, I mean, no, no, like I feel like it's the same. It's almost like I we're up here saying a broken record. You know, it's like we come to work every single week, win or lose. Uh, obviously, last week was not what we wanted, but we were able to get on a short week this week. And um, like Micah said, you know, we got some just guys in the locker room that just come to work every single day. Um, and, and this was a it's a good win for us, and we want to keep the momentum going to, to New England. I mean, you gotta you gotta cram a week's worth of of film um, and uh, meetings and you know whatever else you do, and, and at the same time get your body back. You know, I'm not 23 anymore, so you know playing on a Thursday night is is a uh, playing on a Thursday is, is pretty tough. But um, you just gotta you literally gotta cram, and and you know I think a lot of us were um, up this morning continuing to watch film. Um, before getting on the bus, you know, because you got to take advantage of, of every opportunity that you can get before before a Thursday game. So um, short week, watch as much film as possible. I didn't see my wife or kids all week, so I'm excited to get back in and hang out with them. Mike, when, I know it's next man up, but when Trey goes out, you're so used to having him on the field. Mm -hmm. What was that like? And you guys know it has been an important, you know, what we saw when we were in camp. Obviously, today was just a you know, huge playmaker for us, and um, just his presence on the football field is unmatched. Um, and so, you know, hopefully he's healthy. And, you know, it's tough, tough come to, to come back home and um, not be able to finish a game. I know that that hurts. You know, kind of the same, same thing I had a few years ago going back to Green Bay. And, you know, you just want it so bad, you prepare, um, and then something like that happens. So um, knowing Trey Davis, though, he'll, he'll, uh, he'll bounce back, whatever it may be. Um, not sure, you know, I can't speak for him what's really going on, but – um, just his presence is, is felt for us, and um, you know we're gonna make sure he's good. Jordan, Ed, Ed Oliver had a huge game. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like we're saying that pretty much every right. week at this point. Um, but this is about him on Thanksgiving in particular. I mean, he just seems to enjoy playing. Dallas yeah. had a huge game. Today. Yeah, I mean, Ed is is is, is a stud, man. Uh, and he comes to work. Like I said, the, all the guys come to work every day, but he, in particular, comes to work every single day with high energy, um, a high motor. And, you know, he, he came in and he balled today. So props to him. Um, and he's going to continue to do that. And, you know, he's just a guy that just comes comes to work every single day and, and works extremely hard, just like everybody. But uh, him in particular, you know, a guy who you can see, you know, he wants it. Now that the short week is over, how much are you looking forward to the support this weekend? Oh, my God. Are, are we done here yet? <laughs> I can go home now? I'm just, I'm just, uh, I can't. I can't <laughs> wait. Thanksgiving tomorrow. Um, about to stuff my face. And uh, you know, have the weekend to ourselves. So um, you know, like I said, it was a it was a short week, crammed a lot of stuff, a lot of film and stuff like that into it. So we didn't really get to see our families. And so going back, getting back late tonight, and and I'm sure I'll be woke up at 6:30 in the morning by the kids, and they go they're gonna be ready to play. So can't wait. Um, I, you know, I can't wait for it. What's that gonna taste like after after this win? Does it taste a little different tomorrow? Oh, it's gonna be amazing. And, le and, and, and leftovers, Thanksgiving leftovers are always better. So I'm going to be in it all weekend. Yeah, I don't know how I felt about it. Uh, it was it nasty. How, yeah, it was a little – it wasn't the turkey leg I'm used to eating. Uh, no offense to whoever cooked it, but it was a, a little dry. Might need some little seasoning on it. But, uh, well, I, I kind of knew. I kind of knew. Uh, I, I was watching the quarterback, so I kind of knew. Um, that was an incomplete pass, but that didn't stop me from uh, trying to pick it up and, and score. And as soon as I scored, I looked at the ref, and the ref was like incomplete. And I'm like, come on, man, just give me it. He made a nasty spin. Yeah, I hit that B button. I hit that B <laughs> button and uh, found the end zone. But I, I, I knew it was incomplete pass. Mike, on the short week, early on, Mario had a big sack on third down, eventually came up with the fourth down stop. So what does that do, especially after the week you guys had on Sunday, to get stops early? 
It's huge. It's huge. You know, to start the game with a three and out, um, you know, keep them backed up is good, you know, field position wise for our for our offense. Um, and I think other than and well, I guess we had a fourth down stop and post pick, um, you know, those were huge in the game. But, you know, we, we wish we could have got a couple more takeaways. Um, so that's something to improve on. And, you know, obviously they, they weren't really taking too many shots downfield. But, you know, tackling wise, you know, we could have went to football more. So. Still some, some things to build on, but it was, it was good to see, you know, guys like Mario up there making plays, and, you know, we know that's what our D-line is going to do. Psychological, like, psychological, oh, I'm sorry. Like Max mentioned, psychologically, after the week you guys had against Indy, is it even more important to get stops early? I would, I would you know, I would think just to have that energy coming into the game, get the momentum early in the game. Um, obviously, that's going to help any game that you're in, any situation you're in, but, you know, uh, after a loss last week, you know, we knew we needed to come in with high energy and get some momentum early. Um, you know, obviously this crowd is, you know, probably second behind the Buffalo Bills, you know, behind, you know, in, in as far as their energy. And um, so we were able to take them out of it early. Um, and like I said, just um, it had some huge stops. Guys just making plays all over the field. Michael, I, know last one, guys. I know we talk a lot about Bill Brown, about Isaiah McKenzie. How did you see him handle, you know, kind of a, some adversity for himself? He's a pro. He's a pro. He'll, uh, he'll bounce back. Um, you know, obviously, <clears throat> whatever happened last game and then him, you know, not dressing or whatever this game is, you know, we're all competitors. Um, and so we want to go out there and, and try to help this team win ball games. So, um, you know, he'll be all right. A lot of guys are in his ear, and, and uh, he's he was out there on the sideline cheering for us and, and all that. So, um, you know, that's the type of guys that we have on this team, selfless guys, and he's definitely one of them. Quick mic check, quick mic check. Good? Good for everybody? Let's do it. I ain't been in front. I didn't mean to be. It's not like my passport. Uh, Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Did it feel for really both of you tonight that you were dominating pretty early in that game up front? Yes, sir. I feel as though, you know, we needed a fast start by the D line. And, um, you know, last game, and with, it didn't go as planned. So we wanted to start fast, you know, and jump on quick. And I think this was the game to do it, to, you know, to get back on track. And how good did it feel to get that sack? Uh, it felt great. They didn't took so many away from me. I just, I thought they were gonna take that one away because I hit them kind of low. I said, well, oh well, there go another one. <laughs> so, just, just to get one on the board was like a big monkey out of my back, but. Tell the truth, last week when I got one and it didn't count, I was just like, man, forget it. I ain't gonna even worry about him. And then, lo and behold, I got another one this week, so they won't count it. Yo, it, so. it is a baller, man. You know, like you said, they took like three sacks away from him in the last couple of games. And um, for him to get that sack, too, I was I was more excited for him than anything, you know, because he deserved it. But uh, he's a baller. All right, you've seen a lot in this league. You've been around. <clears throat> Uh, I, I always do, you know. Um, like I said, I always start with the D line first. You know, that's my position group. And um, the D line, you know, we work so hard, you know. And um, for you to come up short the way we did, you know, sometimes it can be demoralizing. But like I said, I've been in this league a long time. You know, 
I done kicked a lot of people's ass. I done got my ass kicked too. You know, that's just the nature of the business. But you got to flush that and do it all over again. And, you know, everybody had a great mindset going into this game. You know, we, we were just ready. Um, and we showed it when we got out there. And what is it that... about the Thanksgiving games for you? Yeah, in Dallas, big game, a big game tonight? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. Both both of the games been uh been pretty close to home. Like I got a lot of family in Louisiana, a lot of family in uh, Texas, so. I get in front of my foes. It's like, man, I, I didn't pay for all these tickets, y'all to come here. So, hey, I gotta go hard, unless I'm wasting money, really. <laughs> How many tickets for this one? Oh, uh, forty. Ooh. Yeah, forty tickets. So I basically played for free. My mom then was in a box, so <laughs> <laughs> I played for free. <laughs> but I know, I know they appreciate it. We so, do, we do. so I'm good on that run defense tonight. Like, obviously, they're down Camara. And right. Whatever, but you guys had to. Stop the run first, right? Well, you, know, well, you can say they down, but it's the NFL. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get paid to be here, so it's true. It, don't, it don't matter if Kamara was there or not there. Anybody can run the football. You gotta take it upon yourself to knock it out. If they run, if they got a running back back there, like yeah. you said, this NFL, they deserve to be there. Right. So it don't matter who was back there. You know, it was up for us to stop them. It don't matter who was back there, and I think we did a tremendous job doing it. Yeah. Everybody on the defense, any of the or even on the offense, two special teams, they, their unit would also say we, we needed to get off to a fast start today, like you said yes, sir. here at the beginning. Why, though, if you can maybe elaborate, why you guys felt as a unit uh, maybe you had something to prove or what it was, why you felt it as a, as a group? We know the way we played, you know, um, last game, it wasn't us. So getting out to a fast start, you know, it just gave us more momentum. And we feed off each other. You know, the offense feed off the defense. Defense feed off the offense. Special teams feed off both groups. We feed off special teams. So when guys make big plays, everybody, you know, jump up. And it's just it's just fun. It's fun when you jump on fast versus when you have to come from behind. And um, we got a good team. We got a damn good team. But sometimes we don't play like it. So the thing we got to do is, is play more consistent ball. We just gotta continue, you know, to find a way, right. you know, to play a consistent ball. Mario, the uh, fourth and two play, can you just kind of describe what, what you saw there? It seemed like Ed was pretty disruptive in the middle, and then you were able to finish that play. <clears throat> so the center snapped the ball. You know, it happened so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Some guys didn't move, so we thought somebody was outside. So I'm like, then I seen Ed shoot the gap. I'm like, oh, Ed made him bounce to me, and while I was going in for the tackle. And um, he kind of stiff on me a little, you know. But I kept, you know, crawling and scratching. And he, when he fell to the ground, I have his hair. Because last time when I got stiff on by Derrick Henry, we, hey, when Derrick Henry stiff on me in that Tennessee game, it was a three-yard loss. He didn't throw me. So, it's, you know, he didn't throw me. But, no, I, I just – I know I had to get him down. So I went to, um, you know, crawling and, and scratching. And when he fell, man, it was – the whole crowd went crazy. You know, we had enough Buffalo fans here to really just take over. And um, they went crazy. And to see the sideline, you know, and the guys behind me just, you know, jumping up and down, that's fun, man. That's fun ball. And I think, they, one, I think they officially credited the sack as a split between you and F.A. after. Oh, we're going to have to turn that in. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my first and they coming in half. No, no, no. <laughs> nah, but that, that's cool, though. I ain't tripping. Right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Right. Uh, <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Good. Happy Thanksgiving, yeah. So, uh, obviously, very quick start. Um, this really both sides of the ball, but for you guys, especially on offense, it was a kind of a necessary. You had to get off to a good start tonight. Well, I mean, our defense came out. They forced a three and out right away. Special teams did a great job with pinning them down and said the 20, I believe. Um, and that's just the type of complimentary football that we need to play. Coach McDermott preaches it all the time. Um, our guys did that, and uh, that's that's why you see such a high level execution when all three phases are firing and doing what they're supposed to do. Um, you know, it, it was a good night. You know, getting the victory by any means. Um, still, some things to clean up, and we'll look at that on tape and learn from it. Um, but happy for how our guys responded from you know a short week and a, a tough loss on Sunday, and um, 
you know, as you can hear, the music's loud and guys are celebrating a little bit. And you know, it's hard to win in this league. You know, we're not going to apologize for for winning the way we do. And um, happy that our guys came out and played the way they did. We talk a lot about you getting the ball to Diggs, and you know you want to get it to him. They know you want to get it to him. To see the plays he made for you tonight, what did obviously what did it do for your offense? What did it do for the whole team? Yeah, I mean that's the type of player he is. He's uh, extremely special. Uh, when the ball's in his hands, just running after catch, making guys miss. Obviously, when the ball's in the air, he does a great job of tracking it and making plays for us. Um, and teams have to respect it. And um, you know, I'm glad we got uh, some running game going tonight and uh, forcing them to kind of give us some different looks that maybe that they weren't expecting. And um, you know, Diggs took advantage of it and just trying to get him the ball. And but I think again. Uh, all of our guys. You know, I don't know if there's a whole bunch of opportunities down the field, but being crisp in their routes, being smart, finding zones, Cole Beasley, uh, E making some great catches. Um, obviously, Gabe making some unbelievable plays as well, and it's just kind of what we expect from him. And um, you know, we're going to need everybody going forward, and we got to start stacking wins. Josh, they showed a replay on the TV of the Diggs touchdown, the route he ran. I don't know if that's guardable by anybody in the NFL. What What do you see on that play, and what is that route called? And Digs get open, basically. Um, no, he's uh, again. He's he's a route technician. I think everybody knows that. Um, I don't know what you're supposed to do uh, when you're out there with him because he's he's one. He's very smart with the way that he sets you up and uh, the quickness and the speed that he kind of gets out of his cuts is it's pretty unbelievable. So I saw him open. I just tried to get it to him as quickly as possible before he got out too wide. So um, see open, throw up, and he made a great play. Yeah, a couple of games this year without Dawson. What changes when? Yeah, I mean, he, he continues to get better when the ball's in the air, especially just making plays on the football. Um, he's going to be bigger than most DBs and faster than most linebackers and shoot maybe even faster than most DBs. I mean, he's, he's got unreal athleticism, and he's putting it together right now. It's really fun to be playing with him. On top of that, he's just a great person um, off the field as well, and just you see the type of man that he is, and uh, it's a guy that you want to play with because uh, he's going to give you the respect that, that you want to give him, and um, he's just an awesome teammate. Before, before uh, what did you guys talk play. about after the uh, his second touchdown was wiped out at the end of that pass? Oh, uh, just he made he made a great play. I, I put the ball in harm's way a little bit too much there, and um, let, fortunately he came down with it. And I know we had a couple guys out uh, down the field, but uh, again, there's a few mistakes that we need to clean up and uh, some things that can't happen. But again, we'll we'll focus on that in this next week. Went on the fourth down, got the touchdown. You had a couple of plays in the last few weeks where you punted once, fourth and short, you kicked a field goal fourth and short. Is that a sign of faith? I mean, you know Sean has a lot of faith in you guys, but and do you feel that at all when you, they're getting that opportunity and you make the play like that? Uh, absolutely. Uh, you want you want coach to have supreme faith in you, especially fourth down situations where um, you know analytics say one thing, but sometimes the coach's gut says another thing, and uh, hopefully he sides with us, us more often than not because we got guys that want to make plays and. Um, you know, I'm, I'm one of those guys included that just want to do everything I can for this team. So, um, and I'm thankful that he let us go for it there. Josh, you were uh, you were a little more involved in the run game tonight yourself. Um, was that partially based on watching what the Eagles did to them last week, where they had the hurts involved like that? Yeah, I mean, I think we we took a couple things for them, especially it being such a short week. Um, just finding some things that worked for them and uh, just trying to incorporate it into our game plan, but. It's really just base stuff that we've had for a long time that we just kind of threw back in. And uh, I think Coach Dable did a, a great job of sprinkling, sprinkling those in um, when he did. Can you explain the standard that you guys have? Because it seems like even after your big wins, when you win by a big margin, there's still a very common theme among you guys and Sean that there's a lot to work on. And here we are, week 12, and you just won another big one, but there's these things. Um, can you maybe just elaborate on what this standard is and why why you haven't had that game despite these big big margins? Yeah, I mean, I think again, coach always talks about playoff caliber, and that's the the team we want to be. Um, whatever it takes to get into the playoffs to give your chance, give you give yourself a chance to win the whole thing. And again, you can't win the Super Bowl without making the playoffs. The easiest way to get into the playoffs um, is winning your division, you know. And, and we got to. Like I said, continue to find ways to, to stack these weeks. And, and again, every every week is a one game season that we got to look at it that way and uh, find ways to win football games uh, here going forward. Um, but again, it's it's the pursuit of perfection. You know that this team we're not 
just happy with winning. Um, again, we want to be the best versions of ourselves every day we step into that building, every, every time we step on the field. We want to be the best teammate, the best player that we can possibly be, and you feel that amongst the guys. And um, Again, it's a great feeling coming into work and having the guys that we have here, having the staff that we have here that just want to continue to get better. And um, you know, It's a blessing to be around these guys. What's your reaction or what do you guys even talk about it, or maybe you personally when you see those playoff brackets and the Bills are in seventh? spot and you've gone from having the standard like you say to looking at that and how things can change so quickly in the NFL. Yeah um, again we, we don't really focus on that it's just one game at a time that we can focus on and uh, we know that we're not going to get in with seven uh, seven wins uh, we know that we're not going to not make it with four losses you know what I'm saying so um, we got to continue to find ways to, to play the best to our the best of our abilities as these weeks go by and um, you know, we got a long week to, to kind of look at the next opponent and um, go on from there. I know you don't know any Last details, month, yeah. and, it, and it's, you know, but at this point, when a guy like Trey goes out, it, we always talk about next man up, but it's, it's Trey when he's not on the field. You're so used to having him out there. What he means to the team and how the team responded to him getting out tonight. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, one prayer's up for him. I hope uh, nothing's too serious, and um, I know all the guys in the locker room are, are praying for him and, and hurting with him um, because, again, you can't say a single bad thing about that man. You know, he, he comes in, he busts his ass every day. Uh, he's such a great teammate. You know, he talks to everybody the right way. Um, and he just does the little things well that not many people see, but that's why he's so good, you know. So um, I'm hoping that, you know, it's, again, it's not too serious. And um, whatever the case may be, we got to have guys step up. And I see, or I, I think you guys saw Dane Jackson come in and make some good plays. And, um, again, we're going to have to have that going forward. Thank you, guys.
was in my jammies at 10. I, mean, I just had, my phone was just over here. And I wasn't really paying attention to it. I just, and then I went to bed. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Okay, first and foremost, happy Thanksgiving to everyone in the family and their families out there. Uh, really appreciate the support we got from, from Bill's Mafia down here uh, the last couple of days. Uh, awesome to see. Um, happy Thanksgiving to everyone back home in, in Buffalo. Can't wait to see you guys back home. And uh, one thing I do want to point out, I thought the kickoff covers, I know it's probably not going to be written about, uh, but that's okay. I'll mention it anyway. Um, kickoff coverage was outstanding. Special teams, I thought, did a terrific job giving us a spark and the energy we needed. So um, with that, I'll turn it over to you. I wrote about that on Twitter. Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, but I want to ask you to start off with your special teams. Isaiah, big decision this week to, to keep him down. How did he handle that? It seemed like Mike had talked about you know, him kind of being selfless. Yeah, I mean, he's a competitive guy. Um, and uh, I understand he wants to be out there and um, so that's you know that's those those emotions are real and I and I get that. Do you, uh, were you happy with Stevens? I mean, not the one, but it's tough. Were you happy with how he handled it? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, we we can't. You know, it was his first game, so um, there's work to be done there. But I thought he handled himself fairly well in his first game. Um, you know, more than anything, I thought he came in and having not played in particular for a, a few months. Um, he handled himself handled himself well, um, so it's it's really about number one taking care of the football. That's that's number one. That's the number one thing I'm looking for. Sean, what can you tell us about your baby's place? Don't know, don't know, Josh. At this point, so um, I think we'll know more in the next couple of days here. When you, when you see, I mean, obviously it's always a nice man up and all that. Yeah. Davis, it's a special player right there. Yeah. You see him go down. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, you know, to be honest, you know, I care for all of them the same, um, regardless of the caliber of player. Um, you know, so we just pray, pray that it's um, that he's back, and we'll just see where where it goes. Um, so we'll just take it one day at a time here. I thought he did a good job. Yeah, I thought he did a good job. He's been in that position before in terms of having to come in, whether it's been for Trey or, or Levi, and and he usually handles himself well, just like he did tonight. I thought both backs ran well. I um, thought we had a couple opportunities in the first half overall as an offense that we didn't, where we didn't come away with points or we, or we should have come away with more points. And so we got to look at that. Um, but overall, we were able to overcome you know, the turnovers in the first half. And I thought our defense did a good job with the sudden change defense there. And, um, but I thought both backs in the second half in particular ran, ran strong. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. No, it was, you know, I'll tell you, I, I'll give the guys credit, man. You know, and I trust them. They, I walked, you know, we wanted to kick one out of the end zone when we were up a little bit and we had a little bit of a lead there. And, and, uh, that was about 20 yards away and they start looking at me like, you know, and so I said, what do you want? And they said, let's, let's try and pin them down there. I said, all right. So I trust them. And, uh, and I think that was the one that got them on the 11. Um, so it was fun to watch. And what is it about that in terms of the fundamentals of the, that part of the game that, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to assume that you hadn't been pleased with it in the past. I, no, I don't yeah. want to read that into it. Right. But what was it about today that was so... so well, I, they were hungry. That was, that's, a, that's a really good returner as well. And, and uh, I think they're one of the tops in the league with their return game. And, and, our, and our kickoff coverage was outstanding. And uh, our offense moved the ball well enough that we could get in some sky punt or some push pooch punt situations, and I thought Matt Hawk did a great job as well. Dr. Mario just now, how much did that D-line, him specifically, Jerry Hughes, how much did they take it personally what happened to them? Yeah. Um, by the way they played, it, you know, the message the message hit home, right? And uh, and that's what I expected, to be honest with you. Um, that's what veteran leaders do. They, they lead by their play. And, um, you know, the physicality of our defense, I thought, was uh, was where it needed to be. On the fourth and two, you could have kicked the field goal. You went for it. Josh, we asked him about showing faith in them in that mm. moment. Do you feel that way in that moment where it's like I have, you know, faith in them? And yeah, came through for I do. Um, I thought it was a great call by Coach Dable and well executed. 
um, yeah, that's what you want. You, know, you want to be able to trust your players, and um, there'll be other situations where we go for it, don't go for it. But at the end of the day, I'm always trying to put the team in the right position to win the game based on score, based on situation. Why is Dawson having so much success this season? Uh, I think he's using different hair products this year than he did yeah. in the years before. <laughs> uh, you know, he's just confident. I think, you know, part of over half this game is mental. And, um, and I think his confidence is where it needs to be this year. Um, he's had success, and then he's been able to bounce back for, from, some, from some moments where he needed to reset. And, uh, and I think that shows how mentally tough he is. What was it like for you seeing a guy, Dawson, who missed a couple games with a broken hand, yeah. come back and, and resume having the season that he was having? Yeah, I mean, again, that shows how mentally tough he is. And, and uh, you know, it's great to have him out there. I know Josh uh, has a lot of faith in him. John, can you, uh, can you speak to the way your team, I mean, you've had, you know, we talked about this earlier this week, two tough losses, and you've bounced back really well in, after both of those. Can you yeah. speak to your team's ability? I know you don't want to keep doing it, but right. you, you've done very well when you've had to bounce back after a really bad performance. Yeah, it's a resilient group, um, and uh, I think they respond to a challenge, um, and we'll be challenged this week, you know, as we look ahead to the Patriots, and um, that'll, be a, that'll be a big challenge for us. My decision. Okay, yeah, my not decision. With any injury right now? No. My decision. John, we talked a lot about the penalties and how much of an issue they've been. To stay out of today overall, yeah. so you know, what changed? How do you keep that going going forward? Yeah, I mean, it's um, it's uh, you got you've got to make it a conscious effort to to play with good technique and good fundamentals and move your feet and get your hands inside and and that's you know that's. All three, all three sides of the ball. Uh, I know we had the one penalty um, on the quarterback. Um, I thought they should have been called for one, quite honestly, on Josh. Um, uh, really frustrated that that doesn't get called. Really frustrated. Um, that's clear, clear as day to see that. And um, I just, you know, I want to protect my quarterback. And, and so, anyway. Um, but yeah, I thought overall we did a better job playing discipline, playing with better technique, um, and so it's got to continue. Do you feel like that's what happened a lot with Josh with him not calling? Uh, I, I'm not going to get into all that. I don't want to. That's you know, I'm not about distractions. I'm, I'm just about what I saw out there um, from a player safety standpoint and what's getting called. Um, that one. That one. Um, I'm sure that they want that back. Are you talking about the one on your third quarter? It was third quarter. Um, was he, running out of he wasn't running out of bounds. No, it was third quarter, and he took a shot low, and uh, no one was blocked into him. Oh, so, I, 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 I couldn't even tell you exactly where it was, but. Because there were a couple, and I'm trying yeah. to pinpoint which one it was. <laughs> yeah. Because he got pushed out of bounds on their sideline. Right. It was a yeah, it's just the, the one. The, we can move on. I made my point. So yeah, I made my well point. tonight for you guys, you know, uh, offensively, to get going in the second half. I thought in the first half I saw one part where Emmanuel looked really frustrated with something. And during this time, we're trying to figure all this stuff. Is there going to be those frustrating moments in your experience? Does that help to kind of have those conversations on the sideline when you, you're trying to figure things out? Give me, um, are you saying Emmanuel? Yeah, he came off the field after a second down. He just looked frustrated. And, Sitting off to the side, talking to Josh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Working through this stuff because there's been frustrating times for this offense the last couple of weeks. Right. A lot went well. Are those moments good? Well, I mean, you look at the first, just the tale of two halves. The first half, there was more meat on the bone there. Um, no pun intended for Thanksgiving. But um, in the second half, I thought we played, we executed at a higher level. Even even the screen to Brita um, in the in the high red zone there on third and long. I, you know, good call. Um, and we executed, and that's. We haven't always done that. I mean, we've gotten sloppy, I feel like, at times. And I, th I felt like in the first half, we were sloppy at times. And then we picked it up in the second half. So listen, it's not always going to be exactly how you draw it up. Um, but I expect us, I expect more. I really do. And that's the standard uh, that we have here. What can the guys learn from the way the first half ended with not the second touchdown and taking off the board? Yeah, that's a little bit of what I'm talking about. I mean, it's. Um, that's not how we. That's not how you win games playing like that. And uh, you know we had a we had a uh, execution error there, and and um, we were sloppy, right? We turned the ball over twice, especially in the red zone. 
um, take points off the board should have been at least three, um, let alone let alone seven. Yeah, I thought the juice overall, you know, the energy level of the team was outstanding. And, and the defensive line, I thought, did a good job leading that, as well as the special teams units. So um, that's what we're looking for. And I thought he did a good job with that. Okay. All right, thanks, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Congrats.